Hey guys, Oblivion here, coming at you with a deck profile on my Lava Al Quasar deck. Now, I've been putting off this deck for quite some time because I feel like I wanted to get a consistent way to get Quasar out first or second turn, and I feel like I finally managed to do so with this deck. Now, um, but before we get started with the deck profile, please guys like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, it helps me because I like to know that my viewers enjoy my content, and uh, com comment, you know, stating why should I run this card, why I should not run this card, or if you like the deck and you test it out yourself. So please guys, test that out yourself and see what um, you guys you could do with it. This deck is actually very competitive, it's fun to watch your opponent rage quit because not that many things could get over Quasar. Um, Quasar, you know, when, if the, your opponent gets rid of it, you still have Shooting Star Dragon and yeah, so either way, you, you have win conditions. This is a very fast paced deck and very aggressive. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started with the deck profile. I'm running two King Kabiyu. Now, um, I decided to run King Kabiyu because of Mystic Piper. Um, Kika B's effect is, he is a spirit, so he gets bounced back to the hand, making his effect very reusable, like Tsukiyomi. And when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level 1 monster from your graveyard. When this card is removed from the field, uh, remove this card from play. Remove that monster from play. So, that that's really good. So, it, it allows you to have kind of a, a formula, synch uh, formula synchron target, right? Formula sync, yeah. Uh, synchron target and or if you want to go for some weird ass kinky plays, you know go for that uh, But I usually use it for mystic piper to reuse mystic piper's effect I as you guys can tell I do run a lot of generic. I would run one two three four five um, six um, Level ones and you know, that's that's a lot. That's uh Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's 18 I, never mind, I'm not gonna do math because I don't want to make myself look like a fool. But yeah, that's a lot of level one, so you could uh, draw a lot of cards by Mystic Piper. And I'm running two effect failures, like I said, Monster Negation really helps in this deck, and uh, you know, Mystic Piper target. Uh, Mystic Piper draw power, and he's a really good card all around if you want to go for Formula Synchron. Um, two script, uh, sorry, three Swift Scarecrow. This is uh, to save your ass when you don't have your play. <laughs> um, three, the standard three hand maiden, three. Um, Lavo Magma Cannoneer. I really hate this card. I really do. I hate drawing into it and you know I, I tried running it at two but the deck just does not work as consistently. So it has to be at three. <clears throat> um and I'm running three Flambell Fire Dog, two hundred defense, so it's a rekindling target and he's a good nineteen hundred beat stick. Uh so that's pretty good. <clears throat> and I'm run also running a boost warrior. This is mostly for you to go into your quasar plays. Um yeah, you know, that's about it. Uh, I'm running also two gold Sark. This is to search out your multi conduction field or rekindling, or uh, some one piece you're missing for the quasar play, and two multi conduction field. The reason why I'm running two is just because three is just too clogged and too dead. Um, you open up with two multi conductions in your hand, you're kind of stuck with one in your hand. So I only run two. And it's been working great. If you guys want to switch out a card for a, a third multi conduction, please be my guest. I don't mind. But I, I feel like I see it enough with two. I'm also running the standard three rekindling, of course. Um, three one day of peace, again, to save your ass. One avarice, because, uh, you know, this is a Lava All Quasar deck, so you go through your monsters real fast if you guys know, uh, if you guys have played the deck before. One Monster Reborn, one Heavy Storm, one Dark Hole, and one Foolish Burial. And uh, this, this uh, deck hates back row, so uh, three Decree. Now, for the side, I uh, side in um, two Magic Drain, two uh, Prohibition, two Trap Eater, and two Noble Mana Crossout. For the extra deck, I'm running one Shooting Star Quasar, the, the Shooting Quasar Dragon. This is your main card of the deck, your win condition, basically. So, and you get them out very easily, very easily. Um, one Shooting Star dr Dragon, this is mostly if they destroy your Quasar, you know, you get this big big boy out. And he's uh, 3300, so he's pretty big. One Stardust, and I'm also running one Red Nova Dragon, because just in case you don't want to go for star uh, Quasar, or you can't go for Quasar, you could always go for Red Nova Dragon. And uh, he's pretty good. He becomes very big. He, this card gains 500 attack for each tuner monster in your graveyard. And this card cannot be destroyed by card effects, spell, trap, whatever, blah, blah, when your opponent monster declares an attack you can select it and then remove this card from play and and um and negate the attack there are end phase special summon this card that was removed from play by this effect <clears throat> so uh yeah he's uh extremely good in this deck he goes up to five thousand i think i believe um i'm also running one red no red, red dragon archfiend to go into those red novas one scrap dragon 
one um, ancient flame veil DD. This card is actually really good. Um, 200 defense, so it allows you to go for Red Nova. Um, one Lava of Stenon. This card is just hilarious when you're going against Dark World, Insectors, whatever. Uh, basically, when this card is Synchro Summoned, send one card from your hand to the graveyard during either player's turn. When this card is targeted by the effect, you can uh, banish. Oh, uh, yeah. This card is just amazing. I like it. But uh, I think I, I was talking about this one, Flame Bill Deity. I kind of got them confused. Sorry about that, guys. So basically, when this card is Synchro Summon, remove from play cards from your opponent's graveyard up to the number of cards in their hand. And this card gains 200 attack for each card removed from play by this effect. So it's, it's really funny for Dark World players and uh, Insectors. So it's just hilarious. Also, I'm running one Black Rose, uh, standard. One uh, Lava Wall Dragoon, standard. Um, one Lava Wall Dual Slasher, this is going to your Quasar plays. Uh, and a second target, Lava Wall Dragon. And uh, TG Hyper Librarian and Formula Synchron. And one Lava Wall Chain. So yeah guys, that's basically the Quasar deck. Hopefully you, got, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's actually very, very consistent. And I get Quasar out mostly, like, roughly... 90% of the time I get Quasar out first turn and it's just way too good guys way too good So please test it out. Let me know what you guys think and uh, yeah guys. This has been oblivion catch you guys later